Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are slamming the Game Pass goodness in the terms of The Forgotten City. Now this was developed by Modern Storyteller, published by Dear Villagers and is usually available for £24.99 or thanks to the ever hotness that is Xbox Game Pass is free if you have the subscription so hop to it if you ain't got it. Now this was actually meant to be just a Skyrim mod that ended up getting its own full game and it's actually really good. So if you've played or enjoyed Elder Scrolls, you will definitely enjoy this one. Now you need to make uh, certain dialogue options, go through time loops, you can fight but sometimes isn't always the answer. There's a lot going on in this game and like I said it's a very interesting game where your actions decide the answers and endings so for achievement it's probably best to uh, try and follow along eh? <laughs> Now, again, achievements and trophy-wise, though, they're not too difficult. But as I said, for some, you need to do things in a specific order and chat certain dialogue, etc. So we need all four endings, read ten bits of graffiti, all types of stuff to do. But again, hopefully I've made the guide easy enough to follow along. With that, it's sort of easy for you as well. All in all, you're looking at around two to three hours to get this done. So with that being said, then, let us begin. So, imagine clicking A for the new game. That's always a always a bit of handy startness. So, this was, game was developed by three people in four years, which is uh, impressive, really. It is actually very impressive. And even with the price tag of 25 quid, it's still a very good game. So, it would have been worth it, but hey, we all like it free, don't we? So... Already important decisions to come up with then, um, basically we need to be a male character and the main reason is that we need specific dialogue which if you're a female character does not appear. So it's very important that we be a male throughout the game and excuse me, uh, what were you doing to my uh, genitalia as I was sleeping there? I thought I felt some cold hands, weird witch woman just uh, staring at me while I collapse. So. Like I said, very important to be a man. Uh, make up any name. I choose Tasty Nuts because, you know, that's a unique name in 2021, isn't it? Tasty Nuts? Uh, <laughs> why the hell not? And we need to choose another specific dialogue option as our strange genital grabbing woman here is. And we need to say I was on a covert mission. So just ignore her rapey eyes right there. Leave me alone and my body. So I'm on a covert mission. And then we can just choose, what can you tell me about, uh, have you tried calling for help? Sorry, almost got that one I'm completely wrong. And that's all the questions I had. And then you can say, I'll pass. <laughs> no, I can't. Good point. All right, I'll take a look. And no, I can't because you've robbed me of my innocence. <laughs> Anyway, there's only really one linear path to go into the ruins, so again, not a lot going on. The present day is nice and chilled. We can hold a left trigger there to sprint, and I mean, we really sprint. You know when you're sprinting like hell is when you start getting your hands in front of you. Proper, you know, proper Usain Bolt 100 meter Olympic record style. And then we can just, uh, whoa, we're flipping down anyway, so flip down the hole. Again, a lot of things you'll um, be sort of... It's, it's a lot of running and walking, a lot of interacting with the A button. So, we found this secret city. Now, how cool are we? Do you think you're super cool? Me too. So, just keep on running ahead for now. There's nothing of... I mean, there's a lot of interest going on, especially if we were an explorer in real life. Dead golden people right there. But uh, for us, we're just going to keep on slamming it through uh, for the time being. Keep following the path. Showering in gold. <laughs> I bet that would be painful, to be honest. On your head, especially. Underground city have remained a secret for all this time. Could people have survived down there? Against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or to whoever reads this. I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And because just in any movie, TV, or video game, you see a weird 
uh, portal thing, you always jump through it, don't you? You don't think, screw that, because I might never get out, you think. Let's dive in, let's go on a re let's go on an adventure. Because everyone would do that in real life. So here we are then to the past. And we're going to come up to our first missable achievement. So go ahead, speak to Baldus McBaldus right here. A lot of boldness in here. So uh, choose the bottom option. I'm Tasty Nuts and I got lost. Or whatever your name is, of course. <laughs> you can say Tasty Nuts. So Galerius, Delirious Galerius, he will be uh, present, as will all these characters, a lot throughout this game. So you can press the B button. Uh, say no thanks, I'll make my own way. And don't worry about me, I know what I'm doing. But again, you can just uh, press the B button to skip a lot of the dialogue, which is, of course, what I'll be doing. So that'll be the first missable achievement. We're going to come up to another one. So immediately go left here, and you should see Aurelius. Now, basically, she wants a piece of the old hubba hubba, which, <laughs> why not? But we are going to reject her. So say not interested, sorry. And then she thinks that we're gay. So just because I rejected her, that automatically means I'm gay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, your fragile ego can't handle it, bitch. Anyway, head to the um, left, and you can see this bit of graffiti. Press the A button on it to translate. We need to find ten of these graffitis. So the second one will be directly behind you, past the fragile ego Aurelius, and here's the second one on the wall. So you should already have two achievements in the first couple of minutes. Head up the stairs, just past Aurelia, and into the right-hand side room, and there's going to be... An incomplete note, which we need. Uh, we do need to pick this up for another dialogue option and another quest later on. So head back down the stairs, past Fragile Egoness, and then we go into the left side stairs. There they are. Head to the left, and there is going to be a chest that we can open, and that is the key. So, we're a completely straight, a new stranger, we've already rejected a woman, and starting to steal a bunch of crap. So now we can just head down, so head off here, into this room at the back, and grab another piece of graffiti. I think there's about maybe 12, 13, 14 that we can grab, so don't worry if you do miss any of these, but hopefully you should be popping along anyway. So, into the sort of even backer room, next to these golden statues on the left, is more graffiti. And a lot, a lot of crap's going on already right here. So what we can do now is just head back and up these stairs. And then if we head to the left, underneath these caves and everything. Wow, lots going on. Head into this right room and we're going to see an old chest with money. I'm, I'm, got, I'm not going to call it Denarius or whatever the hell it's called. And a bottle of wine. So make sure to pick up the wine and the money. Again, the money will be an important factor later on. So now we can head to the left, back downstairs here and left up the stairs. There we go. Now we can just head back. Now this is the main area that we will be getting used to. You will get used to this uh, as the game goes on, so don't panic your buns about it. Uh, we're going to be heading right, not left up the stairs, and then left here there's another piece of graffiti to look at. So turn around and into the basking sunshine. If it's sunshine like this, you would think people would be more tanned and have more hair, but apparently not in these days. So head to the left. This is the marketplace. We'll be coming here quite a lot. Um, but if we head to the right, next to where this guy, his name is Virgil, not Van Dyke, the Liverpool footballer. Uh, there's a bit of graffiti right there as well, so make sure to grab that one as well. Then head up the stairs to the left and into these bathhouses to find on the right-hand side wall yet <laughs> some more graffiti. God damn, somebody's angry with this town. And more graffiti on the back of the wall. And on the next, on the sort of left-hand side wall, or the right, wherever we are now, is another piece of graffiti. And if we turn around, take a look at the floor, pick up one of the filth sponges. You can see bits of, you know, diarrhea and pubes on that. We'll uh, pick it up and just pop that back down. We don't want to be messing with another man's pubes. Or woman's pubes, of course. Right, press the B button to jump. And you will jump up on this barrel. And what we need to do, before speaking to the woman here, Fabia, there is a note on this wall. Very important to read this first. And again, that will come up in another dialogue option. So make sure to read that and then speak to... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she looks like she is off her nutter butters. And now we can just say, I'll get right on it. Do not go in there. Now, of course, this dialogue option wouldn't have come up. Just trust me. 
These wouldn't have come up if we didn't read the notes. So that is why we read the notes. And we save Fabia, the uh, wide-eyed pill head, from getting crushed to death. So we head to the right and we're heading all the way up now. Man, there's a lot going on already in just the first 10 minutes, which is nice. Now, again, there's a lot of times that you can fight people, or uh, so we'll, we'll lie, so make sure to choose the lie option there. Um, and then what we're going to do is actually just turn around, and he's going to walk to the um, shrine where we told Fabian not to do, but we're going to get some more graffiti, so head to the right, and then up these steps, and then all the way to the sort of back wall, past these golden statues is the next piece of graffiti. There we go. Deliciousness. So yeah, like I said, when you get into a certain situation like that, you can fight them or you can talk your way out of it. Now, for the purpose of the achievement guide, we're just going to be um, talking our way out of stuff. We really don't do a lot of fighting in this game, so life will be handed to you on a golden platter. So, armed stranger dies. A lucky! But what we can get now is his wooden bow. So, go up to him, press A to search, and then just press the A button to get his arrows, some money, a notice, and the wooden bow. Whoops, my battery's run out. It's just rechargeable batteries, it's fan. Right then, so, <laughs> we can now go back the way we came and then head into the right to find Dalad Doolis. And I tell you why, because later on he is going to do your absolute tit bags in. So say, what's your story and what did you do? Did somebody think you were going to steal? Is that all? Couldn't you have cut your ears down a bit there, mate? Looks like Paul Gascoigne when he's been on a bit of a bender. Actually, it looks like all of us when we've been on a bit of a bender, to be honest. So, just keep choosing these next dialogue options. Hmm. Treasure. If you give him the key, I can try to find out what it unlocks. And let me talk to the magistrate about getting you out of here. Then maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. So, basically, to get this guy out of here, we need a new magistrate. Uh, which, again, we'll come to quite a bit later on. So, for now, we can head back through the marketplace and we're going to speak to Decius. Now, again, a lot of these dialogue options, some don't matter, but some of them do. So, it's always worth just copying the exact same ones I do anyway. So, uh, just say, I'm intradasted. I am. He already sounds like a just a just an ass, doesn't he? Well, you want me to steal it? Yes, my name's Decius. Etc. Etc. Something like that. Anyway, so now we can just say I don't have any questions right now. Don't call us partner again, but we'll just say all right, I'll do it. Because no, the cowboys even exist in this time. Was that a thing? Who knows. So we've got a fake golden bow, and now we're gonna need to use uh, grab a real golden bow so head into this sort of shrine on the left hand side the shrine of diana now we're going to get another two achievements so we need to press the a button to extinguish the left and right brazier sorry brazier the brazier is a female thing and then what we can do again press the b button to jump up on said bra and then the golden bow will be directly behind you and then get off before you burn your pubes off to death Grab the bunch of arrows and then press the right trigger. In fact, I actually end up getting an accidental achievement. If you press up, you will whip out the camera, which will give us the tourist achievement. Uh, make a manual save as well. I definitely would because we, we're going to need to come back to this bit. So make a manual save. Press up on the D-pad. That will get us the tourist achievement. Even though the achievement description is wrong. So, you know, close enough. Ignore that one. And then if you press the uh, right on the D-pad, and then you can just hold right trigger to shoot. So right the D-pad, get your bow and arrow out, and then right, um, right arrow to hold and shoot. And what we're going to do is just stand here then for the next two minutes while we get completely stung to death. Um, to be honest, you think they just all swore me, and, you know, I'd be totally dead in 20 seconds. But hornets apparently are stupid in this day and age. So just wait here until you die from the hornet's nest and then just reload your last manual save what we just done. Oh boy.
finally, after standing around doing nothing, just being stung to death, we will get the allergic achievement. So again, very important that you're following everything that I do because you may have to start a new game and, you know, you really don't want to be doing that. So, what we can do this time again, right on the D-pad to get your bow and arrow out, hold the right trigger, and this time we're going to actually jump through the hole straight away. So as soon as that goes, uh, hits the ground, we're going to jump through, and jobs are good. And so, open up this old chest, we're going to get some arrows. Um, now, as we enter the palace, this is, this is the only part of the game, really, where there is a whole bunch of any enemies for us to deal with. Uh, shoot the... If we shoot the uh, moss or the weeds in the water, that is going to get us another achievement called Golden Archer. So make sure to shoot them, grab everything you can in the old chest, and then we can just simply move on. Uh, but yeah, in terms of enemies, there is only really, or the way, the way I do it anyway, this is the only place where there are quite a few enemies to deal with, and they're not even that uh, bad. So it's, it's generally not too bad at all, but we're going to pick up... Navia's journal, Nava, Navia, who knows, anyway, pick up a journal, and then hold the B button, and up on the left stick to pull yourself up, as usual, uh, a couple of gold people there, what the flood has happened, run and jump over to the other side, and then just continue climbing up, again, kind of a linear path for now, uh, but we'll have to shoot a few, again, grab these arrows as well, and just shoot up these old grabbing biobins there, uh, Mosses, you know, grassy things. I forgot what they're called. Because if you don't shoot them, you're going straight through them and falling to your death. Tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later. So here we are then at the palace. Now there is an achievement. Basically, when we turn one of the enemies gold, we have the opportunity to kick them. And we need to kick them into another enemy. So if you shoot them in the head, that will turn them gold straight away. If you shoot any other part of their body, it'll take two or maybe even three arrows. So as you can see, I could just kick one. And we need to do this to ten enemies. So shoot this enemy as quick as you can. Make it gold. And then kick it into this enemy, and that'll topple that. That'll kill them both, but we need to do that a total of 10 times. So shoot the moss, all four bits of moss here. You don't need to shoot him again, because one, once you shoot the moss, the enemy automatically turns gold. So, ah, my golden nuggets. I genuinely wish we could take these gold enemies home, and then, well, that would make us rich as bows. So as you can see, you get close to it, the enemies start appearing, that is why we need to shoot the moss. Otherwise this area is good. Uh, grab what you can from this chest, and then jump down and then immediately shoot the moss on the left to turn three of the enemies uh, golden. And we're going to shoot this one gold, and we're just going to try and get the toppled one. I kind of make an absolute ball sack mess out of this. Um, <laughs> keep getting punched behind. Eventually though... There we go then. So we want to try and do it to at least one enemy uh, as we go on. But there are, like I said, plenty of opportunity if you don't get it exactly when I do. So grab everything that you can out this chest, head down, and then we're going to make another enemy gold. This one. And then two enemies should start chasing us. Give them a kick, and then hopefully that should be another two for you. Uh, so head up to the top left, and we're going to find some arrows for us to take. Awesome quiver. Grab the quavers, man. It's hungry being this good looking, you know. Shoot the moss directly in front of us. And then we can just jump up. Grab what you can from this old chest. A couple more arrows. And then follow this tiny little path. Right. Directly in front of us is another enemy. So whap him into golden nugget status. You know, if you're a better shot than me, that will make life easier as well. Give them a kick. And then again, hopefully that should be all three done. Um, interact with the chest in front of us again, grab everything that you can, and then shoot these four pieces of moss, we're going to be able to climb up. Now, if you do find yourself needing a bit of health, just stand still for about a minute or two, and that will get yourself back into full health. Uh, there's nothing to eat to gain health, it just gradually gets better over time, so if you're finding yourself in a bit of a pickled situation, Yep, just stand there for about a minute or two, and that should be as golden as hell. So shoot the moss, so we can 
climb on over, climb on over, baby. And keep going up. Right, what we're going to do now is pop this uh, vase on the floor, and that's going to distract this guy, so we can just shoot him from above. Oh, I tell you what, I sigh with relief at <laughs> something else. It's to do with my head, except not that. Anyway, we're getting off topic now. Shoot the moss. And that'll turn that guy golden. Shoot this guy, um, just so it makes it a little bit easier for you. Make him as golden as your nuts. Or your lady baths. And then what we're going to do is a whole bunch of enemies here. So make sure all four of them are going to start swarming you. Bam, give it a kick. And this is where I personally unlock the achievement called Striker. Um, but again... We have plenty of opportunity in which to do it left in this particular area. So grab the key here and read the note. Um, obviously, make sure you picked up uh, items out of the chest as well. And then we can open the door and head on up. Reaching the upper floor. We are legends. We don't even know where we are. And we're already kicking ass. Pick up some more arrows. And there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies through this curtain. So as you'll be able to see, I kind of suck at this part. Um, but what you can do is, <laughs> what you can do is probably just run in, run back out, and then kick them. But, uh, again, as you can see, I kind of suck donkey nuts right here. <laughs> just trying to kick them when <laughs> they're unable to be kicked. So just keep smashing them, quick as you can, there we go. Oh, I'm just, <laughs> god damn, completely being bummed by golden things. And there is going to be one more enemy through a curtain, so just be careful. He's going to be through here. <laughs> he just <laughs> gave me a kick to the dong, so thank you very much for that. Otherwise, we can now just move on. Uh, smash all this moss out, just climb through on over to the other side for now. Praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then that I heard... So again, if you need health, just stand still for a couple of minutes. But what I tend to do, because there's a whole bunch of enemies through the curtain, I'm going to climb up. And as you can see, there they are. They will chase you anyway, so it might just be worth using all your arrows to kill them right there. I didn't anticipate them chasing me, to be honest. So I almost balls this one up. But kill this enemy directly in front of us as we jump down, and then... Holy hell, I crap myself. But that'll be a good opportunity if you don't have the gold stri uh, the striker achievement yet. Another good opportunity. Grab some more arrows out of this chest, and then we can move on. It's a, it's a scary thing. And Neva just talking a whole bunch of bows. Right, couple of enemies round the corner, so make sure they follow you. And then just chuck it on the moss so they automatically get gold. The one didn't follow me, so we're going to have to kill him like hell again. Another good opportunity to kick an en another enemy if you don't have the golden striker yet. And there we go. <laughs> it's like that Lee Evans joke. They sort of freeze just as they're about to um, save a goal as a goalkeeper, don't they? <laughs> Ah, unlucky. So, into the left, there's going to be another enemy that pops out of this door. So, give give um, the really stupid-looking R2-D2-looking thing a <laughs> arrow to the head. Another boy as well. J just kick him. There we go. There we go. I heeded my own advice, finally. Grab everything out of this chest, but in this room, another bunch of enemies are going to start swarming. So, yep. Yeah, just give them the... Uh, any moss, just make sure to get them so they are golden and dead. If not, well, that's also fair. Like I said, hopefully you're a better shot than me because I... I <laughs> just said bows. There should only be four enemies, so we've got them dead. <laughs> Genuinely, they must have finished doing... Oh, another enemy. Make sure to kill... Make sure to kill this guy. And I tell you what... Is that Sai? Is that orgasm Sai? Or is that Sai <laughs> because, ah, you just killed me, you sound bitch. I'd say both, but uh, there we go. Anyway, we have finally reached our destination now, and now we have to choose the uh, specific dialogue. So just make sure to choose exactly what I do. So you can talk, 
I can sing. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little uh, Troy McClure Simpsons quote there. And directly behind you. Now, we can fight this woman. Nyavya. Nyavya, yeah. Nyavya. Or what we're going to do is actually just talk our way out of it. So choose, this has nothing to do with me. So stop blaming me, stupid ass here. Skip the dialogue and then choose, it's not just this statue whispering to me. It's like someone else is whispering to me. No, I swear. I ended up here by accident. All I want to do is leave. I got trapped in tunnels. I've never had any intention of hurting you. I just want to shave your mustache. Wait, I can undo this. I can undo this. I can cover her in gold again. This golden bow. All right, stand back, beardy boy. And then just give the statue behind us the uh, gold, goldness of a lifetime. And that avoids a fight, uh, avoids using a whole bunch of arrows, and maybe Nayavia will shave her little mustache. Who knows? Well, there's no point. And it's 2021, or this was like no. the year 21. Go. So, all good. She gives us a key. She tells us to get out. We will do that with pleasure. So, basically, that is the end of a whole load of enemies. Uh, a lot of it now is just going to be doing specific things to get specific achievements. Now, don't jump down what I've done. What you can do is get the golden bows on all the moss and climb down. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, that was a bit silly of me. So we got that achievement for getting out of the way. Now we can just turn around. What we're going to do is head down to the right. We need to find four golden, big golden statues, specific ones. And the first one is right here. Um, this is for the Underworld Explorer achievement. And there are four of these to get, and this is the first one right here. What we're going to do is head down to the right. Now we're back into the sort of main area where all the marketplaces and everything. And we're going to speak to this lady on the right, and her name is Equisha. Or Equifa, I'm going to call her, because... <laughs> That's funny. Equitia. Or it sounds Italian, you know, if you're really angry Italian. Equitia. Hey. Sorry. I, I really hope I didn't just offend everyone there. So, just choose, how did you end up here? A stranger dragged me out of a river, and what were you going to say? Of course, we want to be nice throughout the majority of this game. And then just say, alright, I'll do it. I'll be careful, don't worry, mummy, I'm all good, and I'll get right onto it. So, what we need to do now is basically speak to every one of the villagers. Now, there's only about six or seven villagers, but... What we need is like three common themes in order for the story to progress. So you can speak to Horatius, you whore, Horatius, Horanus. Um, now you can say, I'll pass, I do have some questions for you, but if you choose not interested, you can just talk to him again, and we have to choose these options all the time. What's your story? And then how did you end up here? We need to ask everyone those exact same two things, and you can just say, fair enough, and I'll be going now. So, we need to keep asking everyone those things until um, we've basically had three uh, main quests in the corner telling us uh, that we're all good to go. So, we're just going to head all the way down to the left because basically there is our bald friend, uh, Delirious Galerius, um, just here next to this statue so we can talk to him. Basically, there's only him. Rufius is just up on the top of the stairs where we found Underwater Statue 1, and the rest are all in the marketplace, so not too bad. So, again, we're just going to talk to Delirious Galerius. I'm sorry to hear that. What's your story? And what we're going to do, whenever we see the lie option as well, we need to basically lie 10 times. So, whenever you see a lie option, I'll more often than not be choosing that one. So, after you speak to Big DG, Big Delirious Galerius, we're going to head back up and we're going to head into the marketplace. So, go for the run. It's incredible how we never ran out of stamina as well. I'm knackered just talking to him, to be honest. But here we go. So, we're going to speak to our friend Decius. Little anal bead that he is. I don't believe you. 
You mean my bow? Yes. And then we can choose what's your story. Let's hear it. Because we want to hear it. Basically, we are, we're trying to find out how we got here. Uh, just to see if everyone's got these same sort of things that we do. So, you took her with you after all. And then sounds like you got what you deserved. I don't think that dialogue option matters too much. We only need to know his story. Right, so turn around and go into the shrine directly in front of us. And then we are going to speak to... Um, 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 uh, I'm sorry, I wish I could help. I forgot her name. Oh, Lucretia. Lucretia Bunisha. So, what happened? Is there something I can do to help? I'll get right onto that for you. Again, just like in all video games, I'm a complete stranger, but I'm doing things for a whole bunch of randoms. Now we can talk to her again and then choose what's your story and how did you end up here? Lucretia. The next thing I. Well. So, after speaking to old Lucretia, what we're going to do is head to the left and we're going to go into this uh, bakery part where we can see Fabian. Now, watch her eyes now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Have you been taking the good stuff without me again, Fabia? <laughs> you son of a you, you. Yeah. Say no to lie so we can get another bit for the Fibber achievement. <laughs> Have you been taking the pills? No, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Just join up here and then we can choose uh, what's your story and how did you end up here? <laughs> well, I was on my mega uh, crack pipe adventures and uh, <laughs> how the hell did I end up right here? Who knows? Anyway, fair enough, and then we can choose, I'll be going now. What we can do is actually, there is another piece of graffiti right on the left-hand side on the wall. And this is where, this is actually the 11th one for me, and then this achievement unlocked. So, it might have unlocked for you already, but hopefully it will unlock at least definitely there as well. So, coming out of here, now we can go and speak to yet another bald man. Not a lot of people had hair in the year 21. Georgius. Choose my nation doesn't exist yet, and then we can choose what's your story, and how did you end up? Yeah. Hmm. I ended, and we began. Now this stuck when I in Indeed, in it I. Anything you like. I hope that. I Georgius. Well, I sold Fabia some pills back in the present day, but uh, we ended up here for some reason. Maybe this is punishing me, because <laughs> her eyes are now all boop. Anyway, to the right here, we're going to speak to Virgil. Virgil van Dyke. Again, so what's your story and how did you end up here? This is what Virgil van Dyke used to look like before he became a professional footballer. Um, <laughs> that's just joking, of course. Uh, so we... I think we can um, just skip through all the dialogue here. Now, as you can see, when we spoke to George's as well, we had a quest update. Um, again, so we need to find three common themes before we're able to move on. Sometimes it may say stranger, sometimes it may say coin and river, etc. So you may get a different one. It doesn't matter if you've got a different one. But if we head out to the marketplace and head back up the stairs, back to where we found the underwater or the underworld explorer, this is where we can usually find Rufius. Now, again, he may be walking around for you, so if he's not up here, he should normally just be walking around the marketplace. Um, because in one in one instance he was walking around, and the other I couldn't find him for ages until it tur turns out he was up here. So, we should all be good. Now we've spoken to everyone that we possibly can. Now we will be able to talk to Equifer again. I, uh, I mean, Equisha. Hi, Eve. And now we can choose. I've been asking people how they wound up here. And now you should have three uh, dialogue options to choose. Rivers, memory lapses, and strangers. Again, one of them may say coin. One of them may say strangers. As long as you've got all three, you should be golden as a nuggeting hell. So now we can just simply follow Equisha and to the bass and life is good. Also, another note I will say is actually save often. Manual save often, just in case you do end up making a mistake or two. It's always worth doing it. It, it makes you less paranoid as well, you know? Especially if Fabia and uh, Georgius are about the uh, hmm, pillhead weed smoking legends.
Here. So that is going to unlock us another achievement, the Bloodless Shadow Achievement. So that is story related, you ain't going to be missing that one. Uh, but we need to, basically now with Equifa, we, uh, Equisha, why do I keep saying that? <laughs> so this place is the underworld. Now what we need to do is basically just go every sing through every single dialogue option, apart from this one, I don't have any questions right now. And now we can go through every single dialogue option until we get... Um, information about four plaques we need to steal so just slam through everything for now man her eyes are seducing me as i said are you telling me that i won't so who but for the problem if you... it's your could it that they've been if i were you Perhaps I'm as I mentioned, but for it, it is if the, the problem is leaving that can for, tell all right, as in any case. So that's this bit done then. So if you've got any idea what's going on, no, it's absolutely cool because I didn't either, to be honest. Um, so we need to find four plaques, but for now, again, we'll we'll come to all that a little bit later on. So what we're going to actually do is grab the second out of four uh, underworld statues now. So as we head out, boop. Listen to the whispers for clues about a way to escape. Yeah, you didn't need any of that. So turn right. And then just head up these stairs and then stick to the right-hand side as we head up. Going through this little archway of life. And if we go up these little stairs and then directly to your right, this is the second out of four underwater statues, uh, underworld statues. And as you can see, he starts looking at you, which is not very creepy, of course, in the slightest. Grab this old chest to get some money out of there. Again, because we're going to need at least three or four thousand later on. So, head to the right, uh, no, sorry, to the left, my bad, almost, and then to the left right here, there is a, there was a path, but we're heading to the left, and we're going down these particular steps. Now, be careful, because as we get down here, there is a right-hand path that we are going to take, and it's right just here, just before the light there, so it's pretty dark, pretty hard to see, but if you head right, you will come up to this area with a couple of uh, golden dead statue things. And then just keep on crouch. Of course, I forgot to mention crouch. Uh, click in the left sticks to crouch. <laughs> My apologies about that. And then we can shoot the golden vines to jump up them. There we go. And then we can, we can now head down. And this is where the first Roman plaque is. There it is. Just on the table behind you there. Grab that. And you can have a look at the wooden carving as well. Doesn't make a difference though. And then to leave, there is going to be a key just on the left hand side by this gate this well that's a weird key who designed keys like that who's the first person actually to go oh this is a bit awkward but what happens if i just put the key straight <gasps> famous i've got all the fame and money anyway out of the gate and we are basically just going to head back to the city now this is a bit of a linear path and out we go so we've already got the first out of four plaques life is good for old AVs or whatever I'm called. I don't actually know. Uh, yeah, very good. Thanks, pal. How do you do? You little prick. Anyway, head to the right now into the shrine as as we are in the marketplace. Immediately left into this old chest is Nevia's Nevia's treatment notes. So pick them up. Again, very important that we're picking that up. And then what we're going to do is talk to Lucretia Sucretian. The Sucretian. I'm just making up cards corrupt up today. So, we can now choose uh, what's your story and then tell me more about Nevia. Thank you. Who? Actually, I already figured out the treatment for rheumatism. Willow Bark. And there we go. So. 
I tell you what, you've been here for years and you haven't even figured that out. Ah, well, I, that means I'm just super awesome. Right, so that is that bit done. I'll be going now. And the reason we need to do this is because Virgil van Dyke is being harassed by Rufius, the angry soldier who has rheumatism. So that is why, that is what we need to do. Um, so head into Virgil's, Virgil van Dyke's shop now. And we're basically going to start the Lion Tamer quest. Because Virgil's been hassled by Rufius. Uh, because basically he has rheumatism. So I noticed the graffiti. Uh, why does someone think you're a sinner? You like men? <laughs> Who doesn't? I like, my, I like my men like I like my drinks. Flaming. Um, I'm sorry to hear that anyway. <laughs> Flaming! Do you know what, who's writing the graffiti? Cultists? I think I already know who it is. It's Rufius. So this was the incomplete letter that we found earlier. It was in Rufius's house. Which of course if he didn't pick that up, this dialogue option wouldn't be available. And you would think, what the hell have I done wrong? So if we just head uh, down. And Rufius should now be by this... Um, cart. If he's not, he should be up in his hidey hole at the top. Uh, but just go ahead and speak to him about your rheumatism. Eventually, there it is. About, about your rheumatism. I figured out a treatment. And then choose, uh, are you the one threatening Virgil? I know it was you. I found an incomplete letter to him. All right. All right, buddy, no problem, you angry eyebrowed man. So, hey, R nah, that, that's... Now, what we're going to do is head back to Virgil, but Rufius just reminds me of... You know when you poke in someone in the playground because you fancy them? You know, Rufius wants a bit of that Virgil van Dyke, I think. Uh, Virgil van Dyke, sorry. And uh, he's like, eh, I don't like gays when I'm actually extremely gay myself. Because that's how it always goes, right? Someone who really hates something, turns out they like it more than the actual other person. So, that should get us the Lion Tamer achievement anyway. <laughs> is that not true though? I'm pretty sure that is true. And now what we can do is just head up. We're going to be going for a hell of a Usain Bolt sprint without um, taking a breath now. Again, which will be impressive. So head left and then we're just going to do a big sprint down here. So this is where the third statue is, the third underworld stat the underworld statue. He'll take a look at us and be like, hey, buddy, I'm just trying to go about my day. So that should be three out of four. And now we're going to be talking to Ulipus. Or Octavia, sorry. No, this is Octavia. So say, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, you can choose what's your story if you want, but we don't actually need that. You can just choose, I'll be going now. And then what basically is going to happen is Ilupius is going to try and kill himself, which he succeeds, actually, this time, this time around. I'll piss. You'll piss. Stop pissing about on there. Anyway, skip the dialogue, anyway. And she thinks we'll be able to talk to him, but we'll say, all right, I'll talk to him, and then choose, go on, then, go ahead. You know, that whole uh, reverse psychology type spiel. And your piss does not uh, take kindly to that and jumps off anyway, so maybe reverse psychology doesn't always work just a thought if you're planning on doing that to try and either save someone's life or you know trying to get a girl or boy to go out with you or something doesn't always work so uh there's another piece of graffiti on the floor directly in front of us if you need it um but if not don't worry about it but for now what we can do is head to where your piss is or was and we can just jump straight down try and aim for the water and that'll get us the high diving achievement um now, the one good thing about this game, actually, is the autosaves are very in are quite in close proximity. So, uh, just turn around, and we're going to speak to this guy right here. Uh, so, again, if you haven't noticed by now, if you die quite a lot, you won't, you'll won't. you start from not that far back, which is pretty good. So, you're Quinictius, and we're just going to call him Quim? Quinn, sorry, Quinn. Um, I can't prove it to you yet, but I will. Old Quinn dog. Unlikely. I'll be going now. And we'll get you to withdraw from the election in just a bit. 
but you don't even know it yet, so screw you, buddy. So next to this door, we're going to pick up this key. Again, bent key. Someone was rich and famous. Turn around and head directly in front of us to go up these stairs right here. And then just go to the left. Very nice, very beautiful looking upstairs. And into these double doors, we can actually just jump straight through it now. So unlock that schnizz and head on through. And talk to little Am's crybaby. I am. Can we talk? Why are you locked in this room? I... I... How would you like help getting back? I don't think Mal would say who he is. Just a hunch. I hope we could figure out together. I just hate to see such a beautiful woman treated so poorly. And that is the money maker. And that's what women like to hear. You call a woman beautiful or a man beautiful. And I tell you what. Like putty in your hands. Apparently. Actually, I don't have any questions. And I have some wine right here. Remember, we picked that up at the beginning of the game. Again, not sure if being called beautiful is a surefire way to get a girl or man into your heart. But, uh, yeah, it's always worth a try, isn't it? Apparently, it worked for us in this uh, particular instance. And uh, just choose this dialogue option according to this bounty. And then you can choose, sure, you can have it, the lie. Sure, you can have it, nobody else will ever know. So, choose the lion option. Again, just to get some progress towards the Fibber achievement. And, alright, I'll be going now. So... Goodbye, Mal's beautiful wife. I'll see you in bed, probably. Because, you know, random stranger, handsome, already already rejected one woman. So we're going to speak to Quindog again. I want you to withdraw from the election. <laughs> because I know you're Quinn, your wife gave me your love letter, and Nero wants you dead. I... Uh... Unlucky! No, I'm not, fortunately for you. Not if you withdraw from the election immediately. And I will. Fine. Now again, we're not going to be lying every single time. Um, it, especially in terms of progressional stories. But, you know, a lot of the times we will. So, uh, now what we are actually going to do. Um, if you just go ahead and carry on doing other things. The game might actually glitch out. It did happen to me where the game sort of glitched out. And I had to go back all the way to this point. Because the next uh, st a bit of story wouldn't appear for me. So, what we're going to do is just wait around for Quinn and just follow him just for the time being. So, give it a couple of minutes here or there. Those are my orders. Carry them out. Oh, as you wish, sir. <laughs> Priestess, Maliolus has decided to withdraw from the election. Oh. Okay, that should be enough then. When she says, oh well, blah blah blah, that should be okay for us to move on. So, now we're going to start heading underground. So, go through the marketplace. Up to the other side. And head to the right. We're going to start heading through these doors. Again, you think there'd be a whole load of enemies here. But there's really not. So, head to the right. And then crouch down. Again, this is kind of uh, quite linear pathy, this one, so shouldn't cause you too many problems. Uh, but sorry if it does. Please don't hate me. And there it is then. So we've got the archaeologist achievement. And now we can just talk to the stranger. Hi there, I'm Tasty Nuts. <laughs> very, uh, very exotic, I know. Say I'm looking for Klashkalav, Kabash. Pluto, god of the underworld. And just say I'll pass. Sorry, old man, ain't got time for that. But we do have time to talk to you again. So, speak to him again, and then choose the option, Do you know where I can find a plaque that was removed from the obelisk? That's the one. Alright then. Alrighty then. Tell me where the clap clash is. I'm with you so far. What did it say? Well, what's in there? 
There we go. So we've got a key to the catacombs. And now we can choose. I'll be going now. Alright, I will. Thank you, old man. Please don't die down here. Okay, thanks. B. Right, so now we can just jump down and head actually into the catacombs. Now, there are a couple of enemies in here, but we can just simply run straight past them. So, uh, you can shoot them if you want, but it's generally easier just to run past them. So, head to the left, and then to the right, into the catacombs. We are needing to find a man called Kabash. Kavgarash. Head to the left inside this wall, and then just up on these, uh, just up over this little bridge thing. And here we go. Head down. Down, 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 down. Boom. Let's go. So, this is where the enemies are. We're going to head to the right, up these steps. Head to the right again, and up here. And what we're going to do is head to the left. And then just up on these. Make sure to make a jump over here. There is a gap. And, of course, you don't want to be beaten the crap out of by any enemies. So, now we can just head down. Very yum-yums. And head right basically straight now so uh, again wasn't too bad but uh, it, it's a place that you can easily get lost so now we we have found um Krav Karash. hello i'm tasty nuts who are you I am Ka mm. oh kabash i'm just looking for an egyptian plaque don't worry about me i'm all good i want you to return it to the obelisk hello i want you to return it to the obelisk please for some reason, my thumb was broken. I want you to turn it to the obelisk, please. Up oh, there. <laughs> there we go. We make it eventually. So, that's the one. That's what we're needing. Say thanks. Now, as for Okay, now say, do you know where I can find it, please? Crab Clash. Indeed. Or Crab Juice. I May I have it? Why? Because How so? I will. The Egyptian underworld? It has as when it has a o z yes was as. So, what's the problem with this plaque? It is as us is. If you give it to me, I'll destroy it for you, which is, of course, a lie. Please don't! You are too late. It is done. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch, man. Ah, ah, you son of a bitch! And just choose, I wish you hadn't done that. And then we can choose, I'll be going now. And definitely, so thanks, Crab Clash. So what we need to do is just head down to the hole in front of him, because the plaque is directly underneath us. So make sure to pick that one up, and then just swim out of the water so you don't drown a drownerful death. Right. So there should be a set of steps. There we go. All good. Uh, basically, we're going to start trying to make our way back out now, but there is another achievement. If you press left on the D-pad, this is what gets us the gun out. We're not going to use the gun, we're using it specifically for the torch. But of course, every time you sprint, you start putting it up for some reason. Um, so, here is the first stone. So, step on the stone, uh, step on the st switch and move to the left. So, the first stone um, goes by. So there are three of these switches and three of these stones. If you do end up dying, just reload your last save. Either manual or auto. But like I said, always keep on worth um, doing manual saves. Here is the second one. It's going to come from behind you. So immediately just go to the right or up here. I got lucky with that one. I didn't know where it was coming from, to be honest. But it comes from behind you. So that's the second or the third one. And then if we just head directly in front of us, we're going to have a little bit of dialogue now with Krav Kalash, the old Krav Juice Master. Will I told you that you would not find that, you... Oh, will I? Well, let's just see. So, there's no need for this to end in violence. Just hear me out, buddy. You're a bit angry. Have you got small dick syndrome? Yeah, don't we all? I hear there's no shame in building on the works of people who care. Ah, if gods exist, isn't it possible? They each have more than one true name. Probably. Uh, no, sorry. Isn't being a good person a worthwhile pursuit? Then choose the top one, even if your beliefs about the afterlife. And then choose this dialogue option, and Krav Kalash doesn't kill us. So, step on the switch and then just keep going directly in front of us. It's going to come from the right of us where we were standing. But as soon as you um, 
step on the switch and go forward, you will unlock the achievement anyway. So, life is good. Uh, so, head up and then to the left again if you're needing some light. Press left on the D-pad to get your gun and torch out. Whip yourself up the ladder of life. And if we just keep going straight, there's going to be another one uh, just directly in front of us. So, oh boy. Lots of things. Lots of things going on. Ah, there we go then. So, all we need to do now is basically just run out. Remember, uh, there are the couple of enemies that are in this area, remember. So, easy enough to run past them, but, you know, just uh, watch your six. Watch your buns there, huns. Head to the left here, and just head to the right. It can be so easy to get lost, so hopefully I'm doing a good job on telling you where to go. So, heading back up, and up. Don't go where I just went, because that is the wrong way. You need to go to the left of where the stranger was, the old man. You carry the gift to the Prometheus. Thank you. <laughs> it's, uh, well, I grew it myself. Pure nine inches of pure Prometheus, bro. Uh, but anyway, now we can just head back out. In fact, the enemies, we skip the enemies at all. So, life is good. So, time to do some running and time to get us the looper achievement. So, there's a thing in the game called the Golden Rule. If you steal anything or shoot someone down, shoot an innocent, um, basically you start getting these golden archers at you. So, make sure to make a manual save just in case it goes wrong right here. I always do too, just in case. Um, but I'll tell you what the Golden Rule is. It's exactly this. So, what we're going to do is steal this vase right here, or resin, whatever it is. And as soon as we do that... It's gonna. The, we're gonna start sprinting, and we're gonna make a left, right here. Sorry, and you'll always get this screen. And then golden archers, as you can see, st try to start attacking us. Uh, but we basically need to go into the time loop to start the day again. Now stay here. There's another enemy here, but what we need to do is actually lure him out. So just um, you know, do it a bit of the old dodgy wodgy. Make sure he's actually out of the area because we need to uh, steal some money off him. Oh, so he did actually get me. So make sure he starts walking out. Head in through the door directly in front of him. Grab everything that you can out the chest, which will be money and some arrows. And then just completely make a run for it to the right again. And we're going to go up these steps. And then we're going to take an immediate right. Right here. And just jump through the time loop. And that is, that is what happens if you break the golden rule. So the, you start getting attacked, and, and to end it, you have to go through this time loop. Now, for the one achievement and for the one ending, we need to do this as little as possible. So this is the only time that we're going to be using it, um, at least until we finish this first particular ending. So speak to Delirious Galerius and say the first three dialogue options here, the only ones you've got. Uh, the achievement should unlock as well, actually. And he gives us a zipline handlebar. So cheers for that, DG. Thanks, you seem capable. Perhaps you could take care of a few urgent problems for me. And then just go through every single one. So, um, just go through all three problems that need to be taken care of. And DG will do that for us. So, cheers, Biscuit Head. Much appreciated. Right, so off he runs. We got the looper achievement. And now what we can do is just press the A button on the zip line to jump down. Now, it's important to do that there because, again, another dialogue, a certain dialogue option will come up later on. If you don't do that there, it won't come up and you'll have to go all the way back to do this again. So, very important to have ridden that zip line there. So, head to the left into the marketplace, going into the shrine where Secretia and Lucretia is. Secretia, Lucretia. Oh, baby, when you talk like I... So, I have Cephalum resin, semen resin, whatever that was. Choose the bottom option. I heard she got sick earlier. Another lie. And there we go. That'll be another achievement for us. Medic. And then we can just choose. I'll be going now. Bye, Secretion. Lucretia. Sorry, why do we keep getting your name wrong? Anyway, we're going to head to the right. And what we need to do is actually... In fact, what we need to do now is wait for DG to finish his uh, things. 
And if you're roughly about where I am, he should be coming down the marketplace now. You'll see him sprinting in a second. But this is another thing where if you go ahead and crack on with the story, um, it may the game may glitch out for you and it may just fudge you up a little bit. So it's always worth just following Delirious Galerius for now until he does all of his things. So just enjoy the scenery and get a tan while you're there on your bald biscuit heads. You're so riled up you've been harassing Virgil. What? My condition is nobody's business but mine. There's no need for that. I just wanted to give you this willow bark to help you treat it. A treatment? Really? Thank God! All this time... Thank you, Galerius. You're a good man. And I'll be sure to leave Virgil alone. I know I haven't been at my best lately. Appreciate that. Now, I've got to run. What now? I have a message for Maliolus. Yeah? Who's it from? Uh, the Emperor. He knows Maliolus' real name is Quinctius, thanks to Claudia, and demands he withdraw from the election immediately. Uh, <laughs> are you out of your mind, farm boy? Quintius, that's enough. What? You're not going to listen to this, dolt, are you? Galerius, all right. I'll withdraw. I, uh... I trust our business is concluded. Uh, yes. That ought to do it. See you around, then. Demetrius, are you listening? Yes, sir. I've made a decision to withdraw from the election. I want you to go and inform Equitia. Sir? Are you under duress, sir? I, I just had a, a, a change of heart. But you're on track to be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money wasted. Those are my orders. Carry them out. <sighs> As you wish, sir. <laughs> Priestess, Maliolus has decided to withdraw from the election. Oh, well, that's surprising. Thank you for telling me. I'll let everyone know. Citizens, I have an announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. Actually, I'd, uh, I'd like to nominate myself, if that's all right. Of course, Galerius, that's your right. Citizens, the election will proceed. Right, so that's all done. Now we can talk to the big DG right here again. Because I'm just awesome. So lie, and just take uh, just a lucky guess, and then choose you're better off not knowing, which, yeah, to be fair, I'll, 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 yeah, give me that one. So what we're going to do is save your piss's life now. So remember where the third um, underworld statue was? So up these steps all the way to the end until we get to Octavia and your piss. Pretty bold of him to try and kill himself in pure daylight, but uh, there we go. Actually, I really need to talk to you, Will Piss. And now he's all like, I can't take it no more, no. Oh, Piss, now get, get back from there, you big dongleberry-headed dink. So, choose, all right, I'll talk to him, and then choose, is this what Cynthia would want? 
Ah, oh, yeah, I do. You'd never believe me if I told you. Maybe I can help save, solve your problem. I've already saved Yulia's life and I'd like to help you too. And then choose, actually, I do. No, you'd be free. Old uh, overbite lip. Of course. Here's your money. There we go, so stop getting yourself in debt, you absolute donkey head. Although it's easy to, and I suppose it's easier these days when you're like, oh, I could just spend a grand or two grand on the next uh, crappiest iPhone, but uh, there we go. So what we're going to do is actually follow Yule Piss now, so follow him all the way down. I mean, this guy's fast as well, Jesus Christ. It's no little wonder, if you don't have any food, then uh, you can sprint for days. But Yulpis is going to go off and uh, piss, piss his pants somewhere else. What we're going to do is go ahead and speak to uh, the big DG. So head to the left here, just down. You know where he is, next to his farm or something. Uh, now for you, he may be able to... Uh, you may be able to speak to him straight away. For me, he's looking at his big statue thing and he looks busy. So just if, if that's the case, just wait here for around 30 seconds to a minute or so and eventually... He will stop being busy. I think it's quite rude of him, to be honest, even though we just saved his ass. Ah, oh, there you go. You, you're finally free, huh? Jesus Christ. So, say what do you need? We're going to help him uh, get his end away, basically, now. And then say, sure, why not? Thank you. I'll get right on it. So, again, because he's too scared, it takes the humblicity of a stranger to help a couple get together. So... Yeah, again, so if you are if you fancy someone, just get a random stranger in town and ask him to get this flower from a deadly position for you. Happy days. So head out, and we're going to head to the left, um, sort of where the time loop is. This area should look familiar. Um, as you can see, the steps in front of us, just up there, is where the time loop is. So these are the steps that we are heading up. This area will become even more familiar in just a bit. And then I would definitely make a manual save right here. Uh, so basically we need to use the zip line and then jump off at the specific time because there is a flower that we need and the only way you can do that is to zip line down. Uh, so jump down and there we go. Um, but like I said, make a manual save. If you keep missing, just keep reloading your save. Otherwise, pick up the flower, get your bow out and then shoot this moss on the left hand side. This is for another achievement in just a bit. And then what you can do is just jump down and this is where the fourth underwater underworld explorer is just underneath the water so that should be that one done four out of four then head to where we just shot the moss <coughs> sorry i don't know what the hell happened the katie moss and then jump up use the abandoned chest get everything you can out there and that gets us the treasure hunter achievement so again it's flying at you faster than a bukkake party, man. Willie's at a bukkake party. Man, not my favourite personally, but uh, anyway, what we can do... <laughs> I haven't used that joke for a long time. So we can now go ahead and speak to Delirious. And uh, literally could have climbed up yourself or done that yourself. But say, I have the flower that you wanted. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, eh? Getting a total stranger to get you two together. What about my horny feelings? So choose the consequences one. All right, that's sweet. I'll do it. It's not all about you, Delirious. We all have tinglings in our genitals, you know. And as long as it's not, uh, well, as long as it's not the gonorrhea, syphilis tinglings, then you should be absolutely fine. So, head up. We're gonna talk to Equisha Ibifa. Yeah, she is. Should be right there for you. 
I love how, the, how everyone does that, by the way. Um, and then choose, someone wanted me to give you this flower. Oh, how pretty. She doesn't even look at it. She just shoves it right behind her like, you know, screw this guy. So choose these next two dialogue options. You know already, so what should I tell him? I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that. And then I'll be going now. Happy day. So now we've got to go back to Delirious from Ibifa. Equifa, Ibifa. Again, a lot of literally, you could have just grabbed Galerius with you and sort of had him hide around the corner, like, oh man, she let me do, man. But instead, we've got to do a lot of running without no drink or food. And like I was going to say, I love how they just turn around like they didn't see you come in, like, ah, oh, I delivered that flower to Equisha for you, and she knew it was from you. There we go, and that should unlock you the matchmaker achievement. And choose I'm listening. And then choose I'll be going now. Like I was saying, um, you know when they sort of think, all oh, right, here he comes, here he comes. Pretend you're doing something else for a second. Kind of like when you're waiting for a takeaway, isn't it? And you see the delivery driver coming down your drive, and you're like, pretend to be busy so I'm not, uh, you know, <laughs> so I don't look too keen. Leave him hanging for 10 seconds. Like, oh, hey, I was just busy when actually you are a starving fat git, like myself. And, yeah, so... <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off track here. We're heading to the marketplace. We're going left past Dooley's cage. Um, and what we're going to do is this is the council bitty area. Uh, what we need to do is actually grab um, a little bit more money. We should have more than 3,000 um, coins, but I'm just showing you where there is another thousand just in case you need them and for whatever particular reason. So. Shoot the moss, climb up here, and the old chest will contain about a thousand um, extra coins. But like I said, we should have way more than enough. And the reason we need um, 3,000, we need to get... <laughs> again, try and climb down the vines. It uh, wasn't going well for me that time. Uh, but we need to get Galerius's vote for being a magistrate. So we need to get everyone we can on our side. That is why we need 3,000 to give to... Um, uh, what's this guy's name? Oh, Decius. So, speak to Decius. And then choose, I took it from the Shrine of Diana. Then choose, who are you going to vote for? I'd like you to vote for Delirious. Would a gift change your mind? And fine, here's 3,000 denarii. Or mono. Uh, yeah, pleasant to be. I'm three grand less off now because you're a jerk off. So, this is, and again, this is very important for this particular ending as well, making sure that Delirious Galerius is the Magistrate. Now we're going to talk to Ibifa. Ha, oh, have again. And then say, what's the status of the election? Can we start the election now? As I said. Holding it early may prevent conflict between the voters. So... Happy days, it's time. Now, this is quite an important bit in terms of we've got to head to the sort of council -y area. I don't know what they're supposed to council over, what, six or seven people? Easiest job in the world, that one. Um, but everyone's going to start going to the same place. Now, now, um, we're just going to go to the marketplace, go to the left, and go to where all the big giant statues are. Now, as we just got, go past Dalla Dooley's cage, remember the Greek plaque that we need. We need the fourth plaque. Uh, now, all we're doing is just waiting here until the election is done. Um, but I'm just telling you, basically, the developers had put in a patch where before the patch, you could go into Dooley's cage and the gate would unlock early. You would be able to grab the plaque and run away before Dooley talks to you. We need that to happen. We need to grab the plaque before Dooley talks to us. And the reason why, when Dooley talks to us, he gives us a key which breaks the golden rule, which could potentially mess up an ending. But I have found a little code that we can use. It's the no clip mode where you can actually walk through the wall. So we can walk through the wall. Grab the plaque and get out before Dooley talks to us. For whatever reason, I was trying as quickly and as much as I could, but he kept catching me and talking to me at the exact same point. Um, so it'll probably happen to you too, but you'll see in just a moment. So let the election begin! You got Boris Johnson there on the left, fat, incompetent, absolutely ridiculous. 
I did. And we've got everyone's beloved Jeremy Corbyn on the right. Don't diss the corpse, please. Sentius, of course. Georges. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Galerius. Virgil. The man who put a stop to the threats I've been receiving. Galerius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Rufius. The man who treated my rheumatism. Galerius. Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helva. What? Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you've put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. Again, easiest job ever. You've got like two, four, six, eight people to reside over. Seven, actually. So, quite easy job there for the councillor. Now... What I was just explaining, uh, what we need to do. So, basically, when we get to Dallard Dooley's um, prison cell, cage, what we need to do, make a manual save. Very important here to make a manual save, just in case it doesn't work, and you have to just go through that whole election bit again. So, Horatius and Gouliard, or whatever his name is, is going to go down. Very important. Chew, do this. Left trigger, left trigger, left trigger, RT, 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 R, B, L, B, A, A. You can go through the wall. You have to do it again to be able to grab the plaque and then do it again so we can actually get out. And then we can just nip through around the corner. As soon as you get around the corner, then you can do the code again and you should be good to go. That is very important. Again, for whatever reason, uh, no matter what I was doing, I was being as quick as I absolutely could. And it just was not working for me. Julie kept talking to me and messing the whole thing up. So, very important that you do that. Um, just so you don't break the golden rule. And life is all good. Also, you will unlock the Liberator achievement as well for getting Dallard released from prison. So, hopefully that helps you. Um, the, the other way you can do it is actually just... When Julie breaks the golden rule you can just go through the time loop and do it again i don't think it should harm anything but i'm not entirely sure and that way just saves a couple of minutes as well so when we are here back to where yulpis committed suicide or didn't put in all four of these plaques and now we can just head through the door so hopefully again that explanation wasn't too bad and you sort of knew what <laughs> what was going on there Right, so we need to choose specific dialogue options now. Choose Pluto first, the bottom option, Pluto. Again, make a manual save. Always keep making manual saves if you're unsure. Next door, choose uh, Hades, the Lord of Many. Grant me an audience. Well, in Amsterdam, you could get an audience, but, uh, well, particularly for the wrong reason. Anyway, through to the next door, we're going to choose uh, or Osiris. Osiris, Osiris. And then the next door is going to be Nurgal. Nerdgal. The second option, Nerdgal. And there we go. So, again, from here, it is definitely important that we make a manual save. So, make sure to be doing that. Make two, make three, make twelve if you want. Just as long as you've got it here. And then we should be good. I always make two just in case because you never know in life. And you never know what will mess you up. So, and the reason we're making a manual save, we need to choose, again, very specific dialogue options. And we've just gone from the past to this... I mean, is this an alien spaceship or something? Who knows? So, first off, choose a what is this place? What the hell's wrong with your eyes? What was the ma wager you made? Uh, we'll get the Herculean achievement now. And then, uh, But choose what was the wager you made? 
What's wrong with your teeth and your eyes? You look a bit... <laughs> You've had some of those Fabian pills, haven't you? Uh, let's talk about <laughs> something else. What has George has been selling you, man? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, are you responsible for the golden rule? Because it's the crappiest rule I've ever known. Then choose, uh, what do you consider a sin? And then choose, it doesn't seem like you've been upholding it either. Old, uh, pill eyes. Doesn't seem like you've been upholding it either. Second option. And then choose, let's talk about something else. I'm bored of you and your death blue eyes. That's all the questions I had. And now we're going to go through to, uh, you know, the, the weird secretary assistant. Everyone's got one of those weird assistants that hangs by him all the time. I'm from the future, Charon. Sharon. And then choose, I was hoping you could tell me the second option, which is a lie. Shouldn't you know this as the god of the underworld? <laughs> I'm pissing you off. I'd like you to put an end to the golden rule. <laughs> then choose the golden rule is corrupting this city and ensuring you'll never win the wager. Third option. And then choose Rufius has become so paranoid. The top one. And that's all the examples I could think of. And then choose how can you expect us to live without sin if you can't do it yourself? The second option there. And then choose, uh, you've given terrible punishments to hundreds of people, the third option. Then choose the second option, if our positions were reversed, you wouldn't want me to punish you for the sins of other people. Full stop. Ah. And then choose no. Always tempting to lie, but choose no. Right, then choose what makes your kind superior to mine, second option. And then choose what does wisdom and technology... Why does wisdom and technology make you superior? So you think you're not obliged to treat us fairly, the second option, because you're more powerful than us. I And what was it the Roman Stoic said? Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. That comes in handy for a lot of modern day jobs, that. And then choose, but didn't you say Jupiter was your leader? There's a hierarchy within your kin? So, are you treating humans the way you wished Jupiter tr to treat you? Make your point. I'm saying, if you can't follow your own rule, how can you expect humans to? Very good points, which comes in modern days and ages, these ones. Then say, uh, you're not a monster, you're a human, and you made a mistake. Basically, we're sucking him off now, more or less. I'm trying to suck up to him. Humans make mistakes, it's in our nature. Perhaps he made a mistake too. Heh, <laughs> what a stupid asshole. But perhaps he made a mistake too. And perhaps when you took on human form, you took on some human foibles as well. Mm, foibles. We just want to return to the world. But that should get you the achievement Silver Ton. Basically, you are one of the most charming douchebags on planet Earth. And then choose why. And I'm ready. So, that is why we have done what we've done through the game. Picking up these probably pointless bits, going down zip lines and uh, speaking to people about various things. Because if you didn't do a couple of those things, those dialogue options wouldn't appear. Thus, you wouldn't have been able to get the silver tongue ending. So, that is why I said uh, we need to do things very specifically. But here is Al Worth. He seems Al Worth it. <laughs> And we will now get the law-abiding citizen achievement. These dialogue options don't particularly matter. Hi, I'm Tasty Nuts. And we, we should also get the minimalist achievement as well. Actually, that was me. There it is. So, we should have the two achievements. Job done. That is for reaching the best ending with the smallest number of loops, which we only done it once. Even if you... Got, had to do the second loop because of Dullard Dooley and him talking to you all the time, which you wanted to punch him in the face for after. Um, I'm pretty sure you will still get the minimalist achievement anyway. I think you're allowed up to three. So you should absolutely be fine if you had to do a second one. Otherwise, speak to it's all worth it and then head around this linear path and then we're going to speak to our friend who um, grabbed us 
in the night when she was warming up her hands. Remember when we were out cold and she was like, hmm, well, that's a big nine inch pr Prometheus, isn't it? That's impressive. Sharon. So I found him. He'll be here in a moment. And then choose, I discovered the ruins of an ancient underground city. This dialogue options, uh, these those dialogue options are important for specific endings. So just to let you know that there. Right. Now, because we've got the best ending, we've basically, we're have basically we basically in this museum now, and we will get another, another achievement. In fact, we're going to get another two. So, here is Al Worth It. You were definitely not Al Worth It, going through all that cruds. And, oh, look! It's Galerius! Which, probably, if you're confused about things right now, yes, me too, it's all good. So, <clears throat> after speaking with him, you will unlock the achievement called the Oracle. Assemble as many people as possible in the museum. So, you've got the best ending, and now we should get ending four as we head all the way to the left. Very impressive museum. It doesn't stink a piss or anything. Not like my museums. Not that I've personally got a museum, of course, but... Uh, hee hee. Wait, who are you? Prosperina, she was whispering to me all along, so that's what we're going to choose. Oh, in fact, no, we're saying it was nice meeting you so we can get rid of it early. But she is the one that was whispering to us. In fact, she was to the right of the um, alien spaceship guy, the creator of the Golden Rule. Uh, and we will be <laughs> doing a few dirty little things at the minute. Not, not dirty as in, you know, dirty, but we're going to kill her in a minute. So something to look forward to. So that should be for you, ending four out of four. Um, hopefully, you know, um, you've just been following along exactly what I've done. And that should be ending four out of four. Now, we do have, of course, another three endings left to get. Plus a whole bunch of uh, missable achievements to get as well. So, strap yourself in. We've still got around half an hour left to go. Um, so eventually you should be able to now just press the start button to continue, or the menu button, whatever it is that nobody actually calls it, because everyone still calls it the start and select button. Right, now when we get back here, we're going to load up the game, and we are going to load up our previous save. So the very top one there should be the Great Temple, the later save, the manual one. And now that should put us outside, back of the doors of the human douchebag. So what we need to do is whip out your bow. Now we're going to go for a run. We're going to break the golden rule. So to the right you can see Prosperius. We need to shoot her. Bam. You know if you've done it right when she starts dying, of course. We need to pick up the crown as quickly as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. So pick up the crown and then make a run for it. You're going to get a whole bunch of golden archers now trying to shoot you. So I just sort of dodge from left to right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, trying to dodge from left to right, but just keep on running. Don't stop for anything. There's going to be another one in this next room. There he is on the left, so just keep running from left to right. Trying to do your best dodging impressions. And keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it going straight, man. Haha, oh! <laughs> you guys suck bows. Right, you have to press the A button to open the door, and it'll come towards you. So quickly go to the left. And then what we can do is just jump down here. Uh, just past these steps, just gives yourselves a couple of seconds. Run all the way down here. We're going through another time loop, by the way, if you're wondering what's going on. But there is going to be another archer just up here. So try and do some jumps and just try and... There he is. Ah! He actually gets me twice here, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. You can get hit up to three times. If you get hit three times, you basically die. Jump down right. Yeah, you should be golden. You should be okay now, to be honest. And what you do is just turn to the left and jump through the time loop. Job done. So again, if you die at any point uh, during that section, just reload your save and try again. Uh, I personally did die once, which is a pain in the ass, but, you know, bit of dodging, bit of rolling, bit of hardcore in, and they will not be able to touch you at all. So, <clears throat> excuse me again. Um, we, uh, You need to speak to Delirious a minute. Just say I'm Tasty Nuts. Um... Just choose whatever option. It genuinely does not matter uh, just uh, for this bit because he is... Whatever you choose, it doesn't matter anyway. So what we're doing is actually now going all the way back 
to where the human douchebag, I, can't, I keep forgetting his name for some reason, Golden Rule Doucheman, and uh, Prosperius was. So just head exactly back there for the time being. And with the doors, you should already have the options already greyed out. So just choose, obviously, the options that are already greyed out. So this time what we can just do is speak to God of the Douchebags. And we don't need to kill anyone because we obviously done it in the previous timeline. So smash through it and then choose see this. It's Prospina's Pro Prosepina's Pros Prosperina's crown. I, I, can't, I don't even know. I took it from her after I killed her in another timeline. And I could do this all day, end the golden rule, or I will. The second option there. So now he's like, oh, you got me by the bows. Uh, that's the idea. Imagine having a... We just want to return to the world. Imagine having a god of the underworld by the bows. I mean, he must have some pretty spectacular bows as well. And we've got him right in our vice grip. Happy days. So you should get the psycho achievement. Um, now what we can do is actually, as soon as we get to the present day here, as soon as you're able to, we can just reload our previous... Save. So there's Mr. Worth It. Was it worth it? It's all worth it. Anyway, choose the Great Temple. Should be the top one. Should be an automatic save, auto save. So, yep. Choose the uh, auto save. And as soon as we come by, we can actually just turn back around. Now, be careful when we head down here. There's nobody that can kill you, but you'll have um, Octavia and Yulpis attempting suicide again. And you just... You're like, man, act up then, act up. So as soon as you get out of the doors, just t just make a literal immediate right. Don't go forward, make an immediate right here. Otherwise, you'll have Octavia blah, blah, blah into you and you'll piss going, oh, I'm so scared. Right, so we can use the zip line to get down just a touch quicker. Although by the time you actually uh, find the button there, it probably didn't take that much time off. And then we can just head back down to the main sort of area. Back to where Laquisha Equifa Equifa is. Don't worry about that zip line, we're not going down there. Uh, ooh, Rufius, what are you up to, buddy boy? <laughs> well, we just caught him in the act of something. Anyway, head down, and we are going in here. Domitius is going to try and stop us, but we need to do a couple of things. We still have about 25 minutes or so of gameplay left. Um, it's pretty implausible. That was a great story, but I'm still going down there. So, up yours, you just get back to doing press-ups. About a thousand you've done. <clears throat> so, get your golden bow out. There is one enemy that we have to take care of, which is not too shabby. And he'll be just around this corner. There he is, just in front of us. Again, try and do better than I just done, because <laughs> I am a sucker for... I'm not a sucker, I do suck at aiming. So don't go all the way, head to the left and then get this moss nice and green. Now jump up. Again, try to do a better job than I do at actually shooting and climbing things. How I make guides, I'll never know because I suck bows at video games. <laughs> but you people like it. Uh, get rid of this moss as well so you can just climb up. You don't have to do anything, you can literally just keep climbing up. And how impressive are we that we can just jump on moss with our backs to it as well. Hardcore. Right, smash this moss, and now just press B to, of course, jump across. 
should be able to make it with no problems. And this is actually where we find um, Scylla Black or Stelita, Sinita, whatever her bloody name is. And here she is. So we'll uh, unlock the Italian plumber achievement when we get up here as well. Now we are going to make yet another manual save. So before speaking to her, make another manual save. It all comes in handy. So, now we can give her a little speaking spoken. And the reason we need to make a manual save, we need to do uh, two different endings. So, hi there, I'm Tasty Nuts. Would you like a taste? I'm pretty sweaty, actually. I probably wouldn't do that. So, what's going on here? And then choose who did this to you. As we get the sleuth achievement for finding all three missing persons. And then choose what will you do if I release you, the bottom option. What about the others? And then choose, I'm letting you go, let's get out of here together. Basically, what we are going for now is the dead shot ach achievement. So, we've just got rid of Sentia Tequila. Sounds like a porn star name, actually, that, doesn't it? Hey, Sentia Tequila. Anyway, Magistrate Sentius is about. Who does he remind me of? Probably British actor. Ah, I know, Sean Pertwee, who played Alfred Pennyworth in the Batman Gotham series. Right. I know, I know. So, say, wait, what? He is genuinely Alfred Pennyworth in this. I love it. Mm, so, what we need to do is choose, you're going to die a painful death for this. Actually, I was thinking about using this, draw gun. And then a little bit of dialogue more is going to happen. And then put, I'm going to put a hole in your head and then immediately keep spamming the right, uh, die. Oh, this is for Al, and then just uh, keep spamming the right trigger button there, and that will get you the dead shot achievement. So don't worry about having to run for a time loop now, because we're basically just going to go back to the present. Sentia, you, you, you beautiful woman. Uh, we gotta go. Sorry. Bee! But that is what gets us the dead shot achievement, as we head back to the Presentios. Uh, hi there. So, Big Al Worth's gonna come down and say, I'm Tasty Nuts. And then say, Weird, that definitely wasn't me, the lie. Choose to lie. When I first arrived here, blah blah blah. Uh. And I still have the Suikaidi note. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and your fate. Sorry. I hate Centilla, blah blah blah. So, we're all good, actually. So, right. We're all good. Go to the left, get out of the aqueduct. And then basically all we're going to do is head down the left and we're going to go back to the river where we got our first ending. You'll notice this area is very familiar now. So you choose, you speak to Al right here and then just go down to the river to speak to Sharon. You go on. You're back. So again, specific dialogue we need to choose. Say, I found him, and then choose the, I discovered your real name is Sharon, or was it Curdy? So the top option, and then she starts getting all nutter buttered up. Jesus Christ. And then there shouldn't be one dialogue option left to choose, and life will be grand. You can just call me Carol. That... You can that perhaps that is up there. I see no point in keeping you here, but I have to ask one thing that you keep this. To yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see. I don't know what became of you. All 
the least you could do is keep your red eye party trick going. But uh, I said there was only one dialogue option left to choose. There was that we just basically chose everything. So uh, yeah, you should be fine. You should still get this um, second out of four endings as well. So there we go. We got two endings left, and we are now about yes, about 19 minutes away from ending it all. I, I mean, ending the game all. Ew, sounded nasty. Right, so, when we get back to the main menu here, we're going to be loading up our game again. Uh, what we need to do is just choose again the the last latest save, which will literally be the top one. Should be the top one for you. And then we'll be right back into where um, Sentia Tequila is. So this time we need to be choosing other specific dialogue options. So what's going on here? Who did this to you? No, sorry, um, where's the way out this time, sorry. So where is the way out, apologies. And then who did this to you? I don't think you actually made too much of a difference. But what will you do if I release you? What about the others? And then choose, I'm sorry. Uh, no, what if I round up everyone so they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? So the second option this time. Choose that one and then choose, I'm sorry, but if I let you go, everyone else is going to die. So choose the top one. And then choose, it's too dangerous, let me see if I can persuade Sentius to let us go. And I'm sorry, I need to try. So, sorry about that, hun dogs. Right, so, a few things that we have to do. We're going to make our way out. So, go down for the dive of your life. It's Tom Daly time. Hey, let me dive, damn it. Rawr! Plop. Plop. There we go, so out <laughs> we go eventually. <gasps> Trying to breathe underwater. Yeah, anyway, right, so here we go. The enemy should not be here. It should just be a good golden nugget for you to kick in the back of the head, which is always nice. And what we're actually going to be doing is grabbing the Grave Robber Achievement, uh, because we have to do another time loop anyway. And we might as well steal over 2,000 uh, bits of coins while we're there. So head immediately left, up the steps, and through the doors. We can now go through. Head to the left again. And let's head our way up the stairs. Thank you, Quinn. You can stop warming up for the speech because you ain't getting it, boy. Right, head through the door and then this time, again, you can make a manual save as well here just in case. But speak to her again, the wife, and now choose, I know, where do you keep your valuables? Get your golden bow out, shoot her in the nougat. Now wait a couple of seconds, very important, until, this, uh, until you get that message and it starts going grey. Now we can rob the um, the dead woman's chest. Now, I actually messed this one up and done this at the end of the game. But as soon as you can do this, we can now just head through the door and just make an absolute break for it. So head down, head left, and head right out of the door. And then just head straight through the courtyard. We're going to start seeing Sentius making a break for it. So all you're doing is seeing Sentius run. But yeah, there was a bit of an edit there because I went too quickly originally. And the Grave Robber achievement didn't unlock. So that's why you had to wait a couple of seconds. Then rob her. And, you know, then we can do this thing right now. Okay then, so basically what we're doing now is just heading all the way back to Takia Sentia. Um, and we're just going to get her to kill her dad this time. So that that's basically it. So you should have a more, you know, follow the video, but you should have more of an idea of where to go, what to do by now. Um, but just follow exactly what I do. You might have to speak to Horatius right here. He might... Uh, get us, which he does, but you can just say, I don't think so. Up your guts, up your bum, I ain't I ain't doing it. Not interested, thanks. So just head back to Sentia Tequila for the time being. And the enemy is alive uh, at the bottom of here, so make sure you get golden bow and arrow out. Whoa. Thank you. 
But just before we start shooting the vines and start climbing up on everything, we are actually going to make a manual save. Again, it's very important that we do a manual save here. So do that and then just head up, get sent here on the go. So hi Centia, I'm Tasty Nuts. Now we can choose I've told Galerius to lead everyone here when the golden rule is broken so they can escape too. Happy days. So um, basically what we're going to do is just go through the same couple of Delirious, uh, Delirious, same bits of dialogue with Centius as he appears now, only this time we're not going to shoot him. Like I said, we're going to leave um, Tequila Lad to basically burn him alive. So as if I tell you again. So that, wait, what? La 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 la, blah blah blah. There she, apparently he doesn't see her appear out of nowhere. Then choose, um, so you asked me to figure out who was going to break the golden rule, the top option there. Again, forever. And I will continue living long after your Right, then choose, you knew there was a way out, and even locked up your own daughter to keep it a secret. Where? Long my life, indefinitely. To cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Now we can choose, you're going to die a painful death for this, old Sean Pertwee. I probably could, but I'm going to let her have this one. And all of a sudden, she just gets fire from... Look like she just popped it out of her ass, to be honest, there. Where the hell did you just get fire from? But, um, yeah, so Sentius, as it turns out, pretty much dies a painful death. She must have farted that one out, pure uh, Kenny from South Park style. Have to go. The other should be right behind us. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. And back to Mr. Worth It Original. So, and Tasty Nuts. Weird, that definitely wasn't me again. So choose the lie option once more. And then just smash through the rest of the dialogue. Go left out of the aqueduct and head down to the river to speak to J.F. Sharon again. I'm gonna pop. You go on. So here we are once again as J.F. Sharon. I found him, he'll be here in a moment. This time we're going to choose I discovered the ruins of an ancient underground city again. Really? <laughs> yes, yeah, really? <laughs> and smash through the dialogue. She'll give us a stone. Sentia stone tablet there. Basically says um, something about being dead or something. I, I, I don't know. I didn't read it, okay? But that should be ending three out of four. Happy days. So we've now got ending four, ending two... And ending three. Ending one actually only takes literal minutes. So, happy days. So when we get back to the main menu again, guess what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to head back into the game. So, load game. And then we can just choose the top, the latest save, the autosave one right there. 
Um, so now again, all we're going to do then is get the final ending and the final couple of miscellaneous achievements. So what we can do is just head all the way down. Again, fantastically uh, almost died there. Uh, so we are literally at the end of it now. So all the confusion is potentially over, maybe. So anyway, head to the right, kick the golden statue in the ass. <clears throat> And basically, the way we can get the Fibber achievement is, if you've been following the exact same um, path and dialogue options that I've done, you should only have to speak to Sentius twice. So head up, past Horatius on the left. And not through the doors, we're going to go through to the left here. And to the... Uh, sorry, basically straight, we're going up the stairs to speak to Sentius. Um, so we've got a couple of dialogue options. But yeah, you should only have to lie to him twice. If not... It's literally fine, because what you can do is just replay the same dialogue options with Sentius. Uh, the two lies, and you can get this done within minutes anyway. So, uh, it really doesn't make a difference. Uh, but, like I said, if you've been following the way I have, you should get this done in, well, the first two times. So speak to him again, and then just choose the... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Can we talk about who's... The going to be the golden rule. I've already figured out how to stop at least one person from breaking it. And then choose I think so. Not sure if this is necessarily needed. Um, I actually don't think it is. We can just choose the second option. I was hoping, blah blah blah. And then what counts as a sin in here? Makes sense to me. And then what did you mean when you said Prosperina sent me in? And then choose uh, yes I do. Uh, yes, I do, and then I didn't see anything. So, if you choose that one, and like I said, for me, it unlocks straight away. Um, but if it doesn't for you, you can literally just choose, that's all the questions I had, and then go back to the same dialogue options again. And hopefully, I think, you should be able to get that just done in minutes. You can literally choose the same two line options, and get um, Alfred Pennyworth's uh, lies in, and get the Fibber achievement. But... Like I said, if you've been following the exact same I have, I've said that about eight times already, uh, you should have got that basically pretty much immediately. So, a couple of things left to do. We're going to head down, break our legs, as you do. Uh, where we're going to head now is to the marketplace. Basically, we're going to get our uh, pill-eyed friend um, killed, unfortunately. So, uh, Fabia, we're going to go into the marketplace here and head all the way through. And then eventually, just on the right, we're going to see Fabia cowering. There she is. And she's like, oh my god, I need my ecstasy pills, man. I need to get off my head. But choose, how is this my problem? And then choose, just callous. Good luck. Look at those eyes, man. Jesus Christ. I'm surprised that jaw's not swinging as well. So, after choosing just callous. And... Unfortunately, she meets her end... <laughs> Soz, sorry about that, honey fry. Anyway, you get the callous achievement. Head directly back beneath you. Uh, beneath you. Directly back. We're going straight. <clears throat> and we're actually going to be getting the kleptomaniac achievement now. So keep heading... Uh, yeah, keep heading all the way down. To the left here. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> to the left again. And head right down. Boop! One up this time. Right, so if we head into the room, which is on the right, just, uh, not this one, sorry, it is the one closest to the door. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. But basically, we need to grab these coins and then run like hell, run to the right. Uh, you might get archered, but that's fine. Run to the right again, and we'll just wait in this room. Basically, we need to wait now for Sentius to appear, then we can just do the loop again. So the two achievements that we're after, we need to do this ten times overall. So, we need to rob someone five times when, um, after the golden rule's been broken. So, rob someone five times after the golden rule's been broken. And we have to use the same loop, or we have to use the loop ten times. So, we're just, I'm, what I'm going to show you is this first bit. I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest path. It's so literally only down the steps and to the left. Um, and then I'll just show you the sort of, the two times where I unlock both of the achievements. That's all I'll be doing. But So this is what you need to do now another nine times. So you'll have to speak to Delirious Galerius right here. Just choose I'm Tasty Nuts and we've had this conversation before. 
or I'm blah blah blah. No problem, see you later. That just ends the conversation quickly. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, head down to the steps here. Head to the left. Past Aurelia. Oh, thank you. Into the first room and <laughs> rob the coins and then head the hell out of there. And then just go back up and do the same thing we were just doing. So, yeah, it is as easy as that. So, we just need to do this a total of 10 times to get the Kleptomaniac achievement. And the Super Looper achievement, that's the one. So that's all you got to do then. Do that ten times, get those achievements, and then we will literally have uh, have to do the one ending. And that's the end of the game. Bang tardy, mate. The, honestly, the hardest part is just waiting for Sentius to hurry his stupid ass up. Old God, granddad can't run for shit. I love your clothes. So... The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay, so run like hell again! This should now be the last time, of course. You may have to pause the video, in fact you'll have to pause the video until you do this ten times. You should already have the Kleptomaniac achievement, um, but after the... Uh, after we do this ten times, you should have Kleptomaniac and Super Looper. And to be honest, this was the most boring part of the game for me, waiting for Sentius to hurry his old goddamn dog-ass granddad-ass up. I mean, you think with all that power, you could just zip line down and life is good, but uh, no, apparently not. So, like I said, the one, th the only one thing that we've got left to do, you should have every achievement so far, bar reaching the first out of four ending, and that is literally just for shooting Sentius square in the uh, nutter butter puban sack. Um, and we will do that right now. So, head through, very delicious looking things, yep, yeah, lovely. Everybody are happy, eh? Everybody are happy. <clears throat> so, now the achievement should unlock Super Looper. Happy days. Let's speak to Darth Didgeridoo right here one more time. Oh, oh, Gal, 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 uh, try not to speak to the whore of Asius, the Harganus. Yeah, I kind of just done a big soup around him so he doesn't talk to us there, to be honest. But uh, uh, obviously head left here. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me, coughing like a COVID patient here. So there is Sentius. So left on the D-pad, right trigger a couple of times onto Sentius. Again, if you don't have the um, taking the pick, the tourist achievement, press up on the D-pad to get that one. Otherwise, just shoot Sentius a couple of times. Bam! And he gets fudged. Ah, bruh. Now, we won't get the achievement here. We need to speak to Mr. Alworthit, 
who is understandably furious that we just killed uh, Sentius. I don't know why, though. Oh. Oh, hi there. So, yep, I'm Tasty Nuts. This time we're going to say, actually, that was me. Smash through the dialogue, <clears throat> and that will be literally the end of it. That should be the final achievement that you got. So, I will leave it here. There we go. The many shall suffer. Job done. You should now have uh, 40 out of 40 achievements. I'll show you on screen. I only get um, 39. <laughs> and that is literally because I forgot the Grave Robber achievement. But you should already have that. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game. I thought it was fantastic. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. And if it did, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Check me out on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And by the way, a big, huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals support. It just means the whole world to me. As well as everyone who continues to um, just interact with me on the daily as well. Absolute legend. So, thank you so much again, guys and gals. And I'll see you in the next one. Ba 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 big love.